Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Lizzie and today we're gonna be cleaning my office. I haven't had time to deep clean my office since I started working from home, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Today we are going to start by putting away some of my clean laundry and picking up the shoes that I have been wearing this week. I'm the worst about just taking off my shoes and leaving them in front of my closet and never actually putting them away. Here I'm sorting through some jeans from American Eagle that I just got in the mail. Only one pair of jeans worked for me, so if anyone has any recommendations for a good place to find jeans, leave them in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear that. And then once I clear off the dresser, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with this new cleaner from Mr. Clean, and it smells amazing. It smells like gain laundry detergent. I highly recommend I know cleaners can be scarce right now, but if you see this in the store, you should pick it up if you're in need of cleaner. To put away all my tie-dye stuff that was on the other side of the room, I needed to clear out some space in my closet, so I'm going to let the music play and y'all can watch me do this. Now that I've put away all of my tie-dye stuff, I'm going to put away all my Poshmark shipping boxes and I'll show you a clip of how I put them away before um, I had those boxes stacked in front of those drawers so you couldn't open them at all. And you'll see in the clip that I kind of put them to the side of the drawers so that I could just reach in and grab whatever I needed. I'm also putting away some shirts here and those are blanks for my Cricut. I have a Cricut machine and I like to make t-shirts sometimes so whenever I find the Comfort Colors t-shirts at the dollar store I try to stockpile them so that I can make t-shirts for me and my friends. that I'm moving out of my closet right now are handbags that are for sale on my Poshmark account. So if you're interested in any of those, I'll leave a link to my Poshmark down below. But I've also had a hard time storing. So if you're a reseller on Poshmark or you just sell it all, um, if you would leave down below how you store your handbags for resale, that's one of the hardest things that I've tried to find a storage solution for. And also about three months ago is when I did a declutter of my closet and I got rid of about two thirds of the clothes that I have. And most of those I gave to Goodwill, but some I did put on my Poshmark account. And I need to do another purge, so if that's something you'd be interested in me filming, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that's something you'd be interested in. That's the way every day goes. Looking back, I know we started falling. We were falling in love, yeah. Took my heart and you rolled off. Was a feeling?
stylish chair into the corner of the room and this is where it was supposed to be going in the first place but the floor was such a mess that I couldn't move things around so let's go ahead and do that now and I'm going to start by vacuuming a clear spot. I'm gonna clean up the mess that I have from a bag collection video that I filmed earlier in the week and all those bags need to be put away because I just left them in the floor hopefully I'll have that video edited right after this video goes live so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in that type of video and now back to the mess a few things to give to goodwill that i purged from my bedroom closet when i moved everything in here and that was right before everything in the world kind of happened and i'm not really sure if goodwill is taking items right now i know that when i first put them in these bags they weren't so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close up these bags and move them out of my office and i'll probably just put them in my car so that the next time i'm in town i can drop them off if the goodwill is accepting To show you the four piles that I made. I have one that I need to take out to my car. I have a trash pile. That's my trash pile. I have a laundry pile. I have stuff that's under the shelf. That's not really a pile. It's just stuff that still needs to be sorted. This is my pajamas that need to be put away. And then I also have some things right there that I just pointed to. Those have holes in them and I need to sew, sew them up. That needs to go into another room. I guess I forgot about that earlier. And then I also have to clear off the desk and then we'll be done. So let's go ahead and finish things up. If you want to leave this town, baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Tell me if you want to go sometime. Yeah, we could be alone tonight. Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Right here you can see I put a hanger that was broken in this bag and it just completely ripped but it's all paper so I'm not going to worry about it and I'm going to go ahead and dust and then we will start vacuuming.
vacuuming that I don't have any baseboards or trim around my closet and that is because we just installed these new laminate floors which I'm absolutely in love with. I highly recommend them. I got them at Sam's Club and if you are in need of some laminate floors I definitely will recommend those and I'll leave them linked down below but we are we just got the trim in from Lowe's so hopefully that'll be going up within the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to pop some before and afters up on the screen and I really hope you enjoyed this cleaning video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. It really helps my channel out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!